Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome to Statistics. Today's topic is two-variable analysis. We're going to evaluate the relationship between two variables. We see some data at the bottom of the whiteboard, x values and y values, and we're going to plot these six points in the graph, identify the line of best fit, and then evaluate the correlation between the two variables as positive, negative, or zero. Notice the broken line that is to the left of the 100 on the horizontal axis. That's an indication of a jump in values. Notice in our data the x values are starting, the lowest value is 105. So we really don't need indications of any values less than 100 on the horizontal axis. That broken line to the left of 100 indicates a gap in the numbers on the horizontal axis. Instead of starting at 0, we're starting at 100. So let's plot our points. Our first data point has an x value of 105 and a y value of 8. Then x 118, y 24. Then x 135, y 22 x147, y30, x160, y28, and finally x175 and y40. So we've plotted our six data points. Now we're going to create our line of best fit. The line of best fit is a straight line connecting as much as possible the data points and we want to have an equal number of points on either side of the line. And here's our line of best fit. Note that this is line of best fit by eye, by visual observation. In other words, it's not exact. We can use a tool called regression analysis for an exact line of best fit. But what we want to do in this scenario is simply use the line of best fit by eye based on our visual observation. We have three points above the line, three points below the line. Notice that the points are all relatively close to the line. This indicates strong correlation. Now, what is the correlation? Is it positive or is it negative? As one value increases, as the x value increases, the y value also increases. So this correlation is positive. So the closeness of all points to the line of best fit indicates strong correlation, and the movement of x values and y values in the same direction, both increase together, indicates that that correlation is positive. Now we can use the line of best fit, knowing that we have a good correlation, to perform interpolation, which is an estimate or a prediction of one variable given another variable. So let's say that we want to predict the y value if we know the x value is 130. What we can do is from the x-axis at 130, move directly up to our line of best fit. And then from that point on the line of best fit, we can move left to the y-axis. And note that the resulting value Given an x value of 130, the expected y value is approximately 22. Okay, so now let's look at another data set. And again, we work through the same process. We plot the points. We create a line of best fit. We evaluate the correlation as strong or weak. And if strong, we identify the correlation as positive or negative. So first, plotting the data points, which we see plotted here. Now we want to draw in our line of best fit. Here's the line of best fit. Now again we see that the data points are all close to the line and notice that the line of best fit shows an equal number of data points above as well as below the line. All data points are relatively close to the line which indicates strong correlation. Now is this positive or negative correlation. As x values increase, y values decrease. In other words, instead of moving together, instead of both 
values increasing. As one increases, the other decreases. That's an inverse or a negative correlation. It is a strong correlation, as indicated by the closeness of the points to the line of best fit, but the correlation is negative. As one value goes up, the other value goes down. And we could, again, because of the strong correlation, use this line of best fit to interpolate. For example, if we wanted to predict what an x value of 125 would produce as a y value, or if we wanted to predict, given a resulting y value of, say, 30, what was the likely x value that produced that y value, we can use this line of best fit to do so. Okay, so let's conclude with one more data set, which is here. So we'll begin by plotting the data points. And here our data points are plotted. Now notice that these points are sort of all over the place. So when we go to draw our line of best fit, applying the rule of equal number of points on either side of the line, it isn't clear where we should put that line. We have six data points. There are a few different places we could place a line of best fit such that we have an equal number of points on either side of the line, but there's no clear trend in this data. So now with the line of best fit, we do in fact confirm that there's no relationship, there's no trend. This correlation is zero. And knowing that there is no correlation between the variables, we also know that using interpolation to predict a value isn't a meaningful tool for this data set. This concludes the lesson on two-variable analysis. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon.